Hey everybody, this is Dr. Greg Rose here at TPI. I want to talk about something that we've been seeing a lot lately here in the lab, and that is the correlation between pain and how it affects your golf swing. I just had a player in here today that wasn't really loading their right side. They were avoiding it pretty much in their golf swing. And we kind of started to question, like, why, why is this happening? He was involved in a pretty heavy automobile accident, had some damage in his right side. And anytime you've had pain, as you come back from that injury, you know, a lot of times the brain doesn't know that this is healed yet and you'll continue to avoid this. When you go in your golf swing, you're supposed to load your trail leg and then drive onto your lead leg, right? But if some damage occurs over here and you can't load your trail leg, it can do all kinds of weird things to your golf swing. To understand how this works is imagine, let's say you jog through the woods on a regular basis. And let's say one day you're, you're jogging and you feel like a stick hit your leg you're like, ah, it's just a little scratch. You just keep running. But all of a sudden you're like, you know, that scratch is starting to hurt. So you stop and you investigate, you pull up your sock and all of a sudden you realize that it's not a scratch. There's actually two fang marks. So now you start to panic a little bit, right? Little red streaks in your leg and you're, you start to panic even more. It starts to hurt more. You did get bit by a snake and it was actually a rattlesnake. And now you're in the hospital for four days with severe pain. You get through this whole ordeal. Now you just were involved in a major trauma. You survived, everything's good. Three months go by and you decide to go run again. Okay, now you're running through the woods and you feel a little scratch on your leg again. Now, when you feel a scratch, your brain starts to go, I just got bit by a snake again, and you start to panic. When you look down now, you're gonna realize it wasn't a snake, it was just a stick. But your brain doesn't remember a stick, it remembers trauma. So let's take this to the golf world, right? If you've had pain in your hip and it hurts the load here, right? The brain goes, over there hurts, right side hurts, avoid. If we do rehab and we get this better and all the injury goes away and pain's good, your brain still thinks you're getting bit by a snake and it doesn't want to go over there. So what you really have to do is you have to, number one, make sure that it's safe, that there isn't a snake there anymore. Once the pain's gone, we then have to convince the brain that it's okay. So a lot of times we'll have to spend time where we'll just practice doing backswings just on one leg, just so the brain goes, oh, okay, it's just a stick, it's not a snake, it's okay, I can load this. And once the brain, the subconscious brain is convinced, that there's no pain. It says it's okay now, now we can use it. And it's like a switch. All of a sudden they can load their leg. It's just their brain wasn't letting them do that before. Don't underestimate how powerful pain is in avoiding different parts of your body and changing your motor mechanics or your golf swing mechanics. Anytime you've had pain, once it's resolved, don't assume your brain thinks it's resolved. Make sure it knows that the pain's gone.